Welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway and Whitman Show. We're live on 97.1 Free FM. Before we get into open phones, though, we have to remind everybody, tomorrow is a big, big day at Smart and Final in Westwood, or West L.A., Mm -hmm. on Pico, just uh, east of the 405. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Uh, You got to turn that off. Well, let me I can't. I'm going to throw up. You can't look at her? Holy Christ. Well, she's a good reporter. That is Might who- be a decent reporter, but that's a tough look. Candy Crawley from CNN. Well, I don't think you... <whistles> Let's just put on Whoa. whoever this dude is. What happened there? She's a big girl. Jesus. She was talking about uh, politics and reporting from... Uh, that's a huge bitch. Yeah, that's please, a, please. a big girl to be called Candy, man. Well, she's a good reporter. And she was Cotton uh, Candy Crawley. She was doing a report on the debate last night. And uh, I think probably uh, with all the years she's been at CNN. Might- she should change her name to like Good and Plenty Crawley. That's a tough, tough look. She might be. A- and that's as good as it gets. That's on CNN with makeup. She might be above uh, being reduced to her looks. I mean, with all the years of of uh, journalism that she's done on television, and I mean, maybe she'd rather she'd probably rather you listen to her report and maybe learn something about her report, well, then or put her on radio, or appreciate you know the perspective that she's providing. But you know, to you know, but mm. to hide, but to literally put your hand over your eyes. I couldn't take it, like the screens breaking or something. Candy Crawley, man. Cotton Candy Crawley. All right, uh, folks, uh, live from West Los Angeles, it is uh, John, Jeff, and also Leo. I believe uh, John is with us. John, how are you, sir? Hey, Tim. Hey, Brian. We're still here at the food drive. It's, we're going strong. We're going long. We're going to be here till Sunday. Pico in the 405, smart and final. Come down, donate. It's Thanksgiving. You've got to come down. All right, and you guys are going to be there all day tomorrow, is that correct? We're going to be there all day tomorrow. We're going to do a very special broadcast with Leo Quinones mm-hmm. at 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Now, all right. Now, people can bring, um, obviously, go into the Smart and Final and buy food, or they can just make a cash donation, right, John? Exactly. They can make a cash donation, or they can go right in the store and just buy some canned food or buy some peanut butter. They can get some just peanut butter. It'd be great. All right, now, it sounds like it's very loud. Are you inside the store? Uh, no, I'm outside right here at the lot. You know, we're still working the food drive. People are coming down. It's great. Well, we had uh, Macadocious here. He's been here back here for a half hour. He said you guys shut down about a half hour ago. Uh, well, Tim, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Where are you? Uh, I, I'm at Smart and Final. We're doing the food drive. Well, b- wait. Hold your phone up to the speaker. What's in? The, what's going on in the background? Where are you? All right. I'm at, I'm at Plan B in West Los Angeles. It's right down the street. They have the hottest Asian women here, and they have the best prime rib steak you've ever tasted. Yeah, I believe you said, John, on the air, uh, you were commenting on the best meal that you've ever had. Well, it was actually at the Smart and Final broadcast a year ago from yesterday. Uh, some women from Plan B came down to donate some money, and I told them that the best meal I ever had was a prime rib steak at Plan B in West Los Angeles. It, that's also the place where they have the buffet, and it's the only buffet in Los Angeles, I think, that has a sneeze guard and a pube guard. All right. All right. Uh, now, do we need to pretend that he's at Smart and Final anymore? Uh, I, mean, I it, think we have to, yeah. Okay. Well, all right, come so you're, to Smart and Final tomorrow and Sunday. Donate. Do all you can. It's Thanksgiving, for Christ's sake. All right. Well, you enjoy yourself at, pl- at uh, Plan Smart, B. Smart and you Final. You come down here, Brian. They have some hot Asian women. All right, man. Look at you. All right. You enjoy yourself there, Johnny. All right. All right. Take care. Tim? Tim? Are you there? Tim? He hung up on me again. You know, these guys, every single time, they have to make fun of our show. They have to out me for I'm not there. Who's he talking to? Now? I, I don't understand this. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, let me get a uh, prime rib and uh, a couple of lap dances, too. Uh, no, not you, the uh, Asian woman. I only like Asian lap dances. Okay? Is, is this still on? There he goes. Hey, it's John and Jeff here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
He's get, right, getting bro. Asian lap dances. I mean, John just, and Jeff. He's just he's just picking uh, picking lap dances from the Asian women there. I, I guess. Know what yeah. he's doing. Well, he, you know, he goes to Thailand and he's into Asian women. He likes mm-hmm. them. I mean, you can't really begrudge the guy for yeah, what he's in. Asian chicks are pretty hot. Yeah. All right, gang, it is time for uh, the best setup man in the history of radio. About to take us into our last hour here before the the big Thanksgiving Day weekend. Here he is, twenty one years in the business, Brian David Whitman, man. All right, gang. It's uh, Friday night, man. And uh, got that uh, effing food drive going on, man. But uh, tell you, I, I got to be honest with you, man. Jesus Christ, man. I like to end the week with totally open phones, man. Anything you want to talk about? Anything uh, that we talked about? Maybe you thought we should talk more about, man? 520-9710. Maybe you got Triple H Jones, motherfucker. We got Triple H, man. 520-9710. You mother effers. God damn it, this food drive. Mother effers. You got your effers. All right. Uh, all right, we have some uh, breaking news here. Uh, again, open phones, 520-9710 and 888-520-9710. There was a, uh, an earthquake in Santa Barbara, a uh, 3.4 earthquake, I believe centered almost in downtown Santa Barbara. Are you so, serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm serious, Doug. I'm looking at the news. Um, but uh, we'll have uh, more on that. But anything you'd like to talk about, 520 520- Ninety-seven one zero. I'm not doing this hey. anymore. <laughs> hey, Dougie, please. Um, I'm also looking at uh, the tips that that uh, Jimmy Costello gave us yeah, for the, Hollywood Park. In the beginning of the show, he gave you some tips. How's how's it going? Well, in race five, he liked the two horse and the eight horse, and neither one of them came in first. Ooh. You freaking <laughs> sons of bitches! Dougie, please. In the sixth race, he liked the four horse. And the four horse came in fourth. God damn it! So I think he's out of the pick four by now. He's 0 for 2. Oh, no. In the seventh race, uh, did he get the seventh race right? How get did... your freaking act together here! <laughs> well, he got the winner right. Oh, he got the winner, okay. Yeah, the, the other choice, is his, he picked the one and the eight. The one won it, the eight came in third. What, oh. did, what did the one pay? Well, so he got that. The one paid, I think, 940. I oh, think that's I pretty good. All right, he's two out of three in the pick four. And anybody who's had any experience in the pick four knows that that's not good. That's not where you want to be going into the fourth race. Right, but to pick the winner, though, I mean, he did pick the winner. In, I mean, so he's doing in one race, right. one out of three. All that's right. not bad. You hey, hey, shut hey, me hey, up. Hey, 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 hey. No, you just, want an answer? No, just an answer. You want a goddamn cut down there, you mother effing <laughs> see? I'll <laughs> come down there. Shut the f up. Oh no. <laughs> I was asked a question. You want an answer? Or you want to shut the f up? <laughs> Shut the F up! Oh, you yeah. effing turds! You're a bunch of turds! You shut the F up! Shut the F up! I do miss that location. <laughs> Okay, I tell you, man, that Doug Steckler had tons of energy. Was that one person in particular that he was yelling at, or was it? It was one guy he was yelling at. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. What happened was, um, for people who don't know what that tape is. Uh, it happened about three and a half years ago. We were doing a, a live remote at the Vault 350 down in Long Beach. Right. And everybody from the station was there. Um, Tom Likas, Adam Kroll wasn't with us then. Uh, Frosty, Heidi, and Frank, Doug Steckler, myself, John and Jeff. Right. And uh, doing a thing called the Think Tank. Sure, yeah. And somebody in the audience said... Hey, uh, Doug, do you think you'll ever get married again? Oh, that's a fair question. And Doug said, no, I probably won't. And then the guy said, if you ever do get married again, do you think it'll be to a guy? And Doug said, excuse me? And then the guy said, I think he called him a fag. Oh. And that's when uh, Steckler uh, blew up. All right, Doug Steckler, will you ever Uh, marry uh, no, no, I, I, I don't. Hey, blah, 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 blah. don't keep calling Steckler no, 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 a faggot. No, 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 no. What's wrong with you? I think those are aimed at me. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a homo. No, no, no. Uh, come it's up. homo. Come up here. Come up here. It's homo. It's, it's homo. Come not, up here. Come up fag. here. Come up here. Homo. You, come up here, you brave person. Yes. Check the palm of their hands. Come, come up here. All right, Doug. <laughs> you know what? 
you are one of the biggest a-holes I've ever known because yeah. you think you're cooler because you you have sex differently than other people. Right, and you know what? I'll Just, tell you something. I have never, ever, ever, done. ever, 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 ever. My, you know, my life is, is, is as solitary as it is because because I don't. Whoa! Why don't, why don't you talk to him after the show? Oh! Wow. Oh, God damn. Now he's going to blow. He's going to oh. blow. No, 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 no. Like Dan, Mount St. Helens. Don't let him oh, He's jumping Christ. down off the stage into the crowd. Doug Steckler is uh, not, a, not a good idea. from the stage. <laughs> not a good into idea. Into the pit. <laughs> I think he hurt himself. Oh, you all right, buddy? Doug, come on up here. At hey, his age, he shouldn't be jumping around busted like Busted his that. leg yeah. pretty good. Doug, oh, honey, come help, back up on the Can we the help stage. him up? Somebody push his butt or something. It's better leverage. You know what? Shut the F up! You want an answer? You want an F and answer? You want a goddamn cut down there? You mother F and C <laughs> I'll come down there! Shut the F up! I was asked a question! You want an answer? You want to shut the F up? <laughs> shut the F up! Oh, you yeah. F and turd! <laughs> You're a bunch of turds! You shut the F up! Shut the F up! You want an answer? What's the question again? I'll answer that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, gang. Let's talk to uh, uh, Johnny at Redondo Beach on 97.1. Hey, Brian. Hey, Tim. Hey. Hi. Yeah, hey, can I get a couple of old baboos from Jerry? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, I think we have a couple of new ones here, too, right? We have some uh, old, that's the old one. And I think we have uh, a few new ones as well. Jero, look there. <laughs> 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 Father of the year, man. Well, it's very sweet, that tape. All right. Darren and Garden Grove, you're on 97.1 Free FM. Hey, boys. Good evening. How hey, you doing? Dude. All right. Good, man. Hey, first, uh, congratulations on the number one spot. In Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Long time we waited for that. I, I said checked it. out that website last night, too. It's pretty cool. I've yeah, always, it's a good website. Uh, I always read just the... Uh, the normal spot you get to on the website, but uh, checking it was pretty cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, uh, something I found on YouTube that is really hilarious. I just want to share it with the listeners. Perfect. You got to look up prank phone calls to C-SPAN on YouTube. <laughs> oh, those it, are the best. <laughs> it is unbelievable, guys. I was watching it tonight, and I don't think I've cried so hard. It was so funny. <laughs> those are always the best because those guys, they're always very conservative. I mean, not in their politics, but in their mannerisms. Right, and they let you speak. They just kind of let you go. And then all these guys call up, and, and it's uptight. all live, and they blast away. <laughs> I've never seen so many uptake guys get so upset, and it, uh, I think all your viewers will really appreciate it. That's a it. great really idea, fun. dude. Darren, uh, we're going to send you something here, dude. Randy's going to go get those right now, by the way. All right, we're going to try to play them on the air. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to send you the... Um, uh, WWE SmackDown, yeah, man, uh, versus Raw for the th- Xbox 360. Oh my! My eight and ten year old will love it. All right, it uh, features ECW. I don't know what that is. That's Extreme Championship Wrestling. Wow, a uh, tough as nails game where not only can you fight your favorite WWE superstars, but you can also live the life of one too. Sure. <laughs> Go to SmackDown. VS Raw.com. SmackDown versus Raw.com. Oh, my goodness. Chris in Anaheim, you're on 97.1 Free FM. What's up, dudes? Hey, dude. Hey, uh, yo, Whitman, can you give us another hit of the uh, Tom Mumford show? Oh, yeah, we'll play that for you again. You want, oh, another, you want uh, another hit? Yeah, this is. I need another hit. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, this is. Uh, uh, Tom, uh, it's actually uh, Tom Like is doing the opening for the Mumford show. Right. Well, Mumford and Mary. Mumford had sent uh, this guy, I don't know where he does his radio show, but he had sent his CD of his tape of his show into the station, and uh, we were playing it on the air, you know, giving him tips on how it might be better, and Tom Likas, you know, uh, told him to change the whole introduction of his show, and Tom was pretty, kind of tried to take him under his wing. Oh, Yeah. All right, here it is, gang. It's the Conway and Whitman Show. Open phones, anything you'd like to talk about, 520-9710 and 
520-9710. Yeah, man. It's Conway and Whitman live on 97.1 Free FM. <laughs> I haven't heard the opening yet, but uh, I bet if um, if you did the opening for Mumford, I think it'd be a better show. Yes. Well, I would recommend to Mumford uh, to get some up-tempo music. Yes. And uh, an announcer. Now, of course, uh, the announcer will use my name. But uh, this is how you do it, Mumford. From Los Angeles, it's the Mumford Show. God. And now, and now, here he is, Mumford. Thank you for tuning into the Mumford Show. <laughs> this is where America gets together. To talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program where the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted fellow. No, I am your host. Right now, our Joe Rich telephone number. You're going to need it. <laughs> It's 1-800-5800-MUMFORD. 1-800-5800-MUMFORD. Here we are together again on the radio. Thank you for joining me. I am Mumford. And uh, thank you for being part of the program. <laughs> That's so classic. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway and Whitman Show. We're live at 97.1 Free FM. Anything you'd like to talk about? 520-9710. And 888-520-9710. Look at these totally open phones, man. Yeah, man. I said it, man. You know, Sal. Yeah, I said it. In, uh, is it La Cunada or El, El, El Tadina? That's me. All right, man. Welcome Hello, to the show. Hello, Sal. Hello, dear. <laughs> all right, all right. So, Sally, all right. What do you got, dude? Hey, I wanted to congratulate you guys. I called you guys last week. Uh, you guys sent me a movie. Wanted to say thank you. Oh, you Congratulations welcome. on your uh, number one spot. I've been like trying you. to call you guys before, but you guys like you. Like you. Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you, according Tom. to LARadio.com, the most listened to evening radio show in Southern California. Yeah, everybody. man. I said it. And it's thanks to nice people like Sal who listen every night and to those who voted for us on the website Sarah. at laradio.com. I don't know exactly how many votes we got if it was a squeaker because we uh, beat Al Rantel. He came in number two. I don't know if it was a real close call. Do you have any information on the numbers, Tim? No idea. Oh, okay. All right. yeah. I have them. We have them at where I work. Um, what do you got? You guys won by like three points or something. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we'll take it. All right. We'll yeah, take anything. Yeah, that's uh, that's hilarious. I was listening to you guys last night. Uh, the Family Feud. I got home. I worked late, and I had to wake up my wife. She wasn't too happy about that, but I told her she had to listen to it. But she, she wait, was, you woke uh, her up to listen to that? Oh yeah, The Family Feud. She's a big Family Feud fan. I said you oh, have to listen to that. That is so nice. Wow. <laughs> hey Sal, do you want to yeah. play? The, you want to play The Feud? Please. Yeah. Let's play The Feud. <laughs> All right, Sal. We appreciate the call, buddy. All right. Thanks, All right. Guys. Take care Keep of yourself, good. man. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Thank you. Man. There he goes. Woke the wife up. She probably wanted to kill him. Oh, my wife woke me up to listen to that. I'd strangle her. Yeah, absolutely. You, we're going to play the feud. I it's mean, be between you and I. <laughs> oh, the family feud. So you really want a feud? All right. Let's talk to um, uh, Razzle in Oxnard. You're on ninety-seven point one. How are you? Congratulations to your number one spot, you guys. Thank you. Uh, is it R A Z E L L E? Yeah, it's Rozelle. All now, right. Rozelle, you know, there used to be, when I was a kid, I don't know if they're around anymore, there used to be a candy called Razzles. Oh, y'all yeah, know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. I'm the same age as you, um, with me. I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it was like gum. I mean, it was like, yep, yep chew it. Yeah, but they were called Razzles. So yep, it sure you, was. You, you, know, in, you know, it's really weird, and, yeah. and, and you can confirm this because you've been over to my dad's house. And, but my, my dad, when I was, I was born in 1963, and he was, he was toying with mm. Tim Jr. or Ra- Razzle. Mm. Mm. And he was, he was going with R-A-Z-E-L-L. 
E. Uh-huh. And you have another L in there. Oh, he has two yeah. L's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's weird. Hey, uh, hey, Whitman. Yes, Rizzo. Man, I, I think one of your most hilarious uh, impressions is Don Imus. And oh. if you would let me explain why I think it's so hilarious. Yes, I was actually going to ask for an explanation. I'm Don Imus. I'm from the Iron. My good friend, Sean McCord. That's you. <laughs> All right, so you were gonna you were gonna tell him I was gonna ask for an explanation and you were gonna provide it. You sound just like him. I mean, I mean, I the mean, L.A. Times thought it was him. I mean, to a T, you sound just like him all the way down to when you mumble because he sounds like he be mumbling sometimes. Well, he does mumble sometimes, <laughs> so I'm a big fan of his. Yeah, I was trying to get a metal snap before they are. I am Imus in the morning. That's how he identifies himself. I am Imus in the morning. Did you watch any basketball this weekend? No, I was watching. Um, I was watching the. Um, Watching some um, girls basketball over the weekend. What game did you watch? Oh, I, was, I mean, uh, watching the uh, those girls from Rutgers, man, and all some. Uh, I tell you, man, some, some big girls, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, they uh, played Tennessee. Well, the girls from Tennessee, they were kind of cute. I mean, they looked like they were afraid to win. <laughs> yeah, all twenty-eight minutes out for the hour. I was in the morning. Sixty six WNBC. Yeah, man. Thanks, you guys. Uh, Thank thanks, you, Razzle. You, you Take know what was great? Yourself, WNBC, when I was a kid in the 1980s in New York, like Howard Stern used to be on WNBC in the very early 80s, they would play music like they would play, you know, it was on AM, though, you know. Never do you hear music on AM anymore, but they would play like, you know, you'd hear. Is that right? Yeah, I miss, you know, talking up songs and everything. It's such a great. It was so. It was a great station. Now it's I'm a, a sitting bold in. Yeah, and that jingle, and then they play something from the '80s, like Hall and Oates or something. '66. <laughs> yeah, it was one of the first stations when I was a little kid, like a little radio pig. I used to call the number, ah. and the disc jockey would answer the phone, like on the weekend, and I couldn't believe it. You know, I couldn't believe you it. You couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. All right, let's talk to uh, Benny in Garden Grove. Benny, you're on ninety-seven point one Free FM. Howdy, boys. <laughs> oh. Hey, How are you guys doing? Good. Hey, are you guys going to be doing anything out here in Orange County anytime soon? Uh, we have a, a remote in early December. Uh, well, we got one at Ski Dazzle at the end of the month. That's L.A. Convention Center. And then we're going to be at KCAL. Then we're going to be at the Kings game. And then we're going to be at uh, the Commerce Casino, which is fairly close to Orange County, the 605 and the 5. Right. I mean, you probably could make that one, right? Come out and see Come us on there. Come by. Yeah, what are you guys going to be doing at the Commerce? A uh, live poker tournament. Yeah, man. Giving away stickers. Oh, man, I don't know nothing about poker, but... We're going to give away stickers? I think we're doing it on the 30th of uh, Jan- of this, uh, uh, November. Uh, November. Right, yeah, right. Is that a Saturday or a Sunday? I think it's a Thursday. You know what, sir? Maybe it's a, th- a Friday. I don't know. I don't have a calendar handy. I think it's a Friday, though. I don't know what the... No, wh- no, no. It's it's you know what it's in December because uh, oh. we do uh, KCAL then Ski Dazzle then the Kings game and then it's like December thirteenth or so. So that's going to be for you, uh, Benny, a great opportunity to come and see us. Will you not hit the microphone like that? Yeah, th- that's uh, yeah. audible. I'm sorry. Uh, to come and see us, Ski Dazzle. It's KCAL, which of course they won't let you in, so don't come there. But Ski Dazzle, stop doing that with the pen, please. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I would love to come see you guys. Hey, I had one more thing for mm-hmm. you. I called you guys Myra. earlier this week about your, uh, what was that, Tim, mm-hmm. your favorite uh, TV show? the uh, Myra. TV. Yes. And I had the answer when the girl answered the phone. I uh, forgot her name. Myra. I told, I told her uh, uh, Kitchen Nightmares, because when you said Frosty loves the show, too, I knew right away. It's a great show. You watch yeah, that program? Man. Yeah, I love that show. Chef Ramsay, man. You see Finn McCool's on Tuesday? You donkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic, anyway, yeah, man. You take care, man. Uh, how about that one where he goes, huh? green hamburgers kill people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for calling, dude. Oh, All right, All right, take care I yourself. really should watch that. This sounds like a, like an like an Indian drum, right? Well, it does. It sounds like a like a um, like a bongo almost, like a rain dance thing. You don't like that? Wouldn't that be nice on no, the whole show? I, I think it's a little irritating. I mean, to the, the listeners might have a different perspective on it, but. All right, let's talk to uh, Robert in Ontario. You're on ninety-seven point one. Hey, what's up? Hey. Hey, Tom Likas. Hello, Robert. Hey, I had a question about what you guys think about uh, bankruptcy. Uh, well, 
Now, uh, what do you think about bankruptcy? Why are you going to file for bankruptcy? Yeah, mom, think about it. How mm-hmm. much you owe? Uh, about about uh, thirty five. Thirty five grand. Oh yeah, you might want to get into it. Uh, credit cards mostly. Yeah, basically just one big uh, line of credit. Oh, one big one. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. I, I wouldn't do it over one big one. Right. Like now, could, can, he, can he make an arrangement like to a payment arrangement instead of filing for bankruptcy? Because if you file for bankruptcy, is it seven years? It's what was say, it, Jerry? It was December 6th, 1994. Orange County wow, became the that? largest municipality in U.S. history to I, declare bankruptcy. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> What is wrong with you, Jerry? Have you run out of oxygen in there? All right. Uh, I don't know, Robert. We're not specialists here. you got to call Second Chance Financial. Yeah, man. You know, because I heard about him on the uh, on the Like His show. And on Stern. Yeah, and I thought, you know what? Those are a couple of guys I admire. Yeah. So I would give them I would give them a call, Robert. Before Second you, Chance before, Financial. Before you do anything drastic. Yeah. All right, and and what's, the, what's the newest on the beef with uh, Tom Likas? I have no beef with anyone. I'm not feuding with anyone. I don't mention him. Uh, he mentions me. He's mentioned me a few times on his show, but uh, I don't hear it. I don't listen to his program. And yeah. uh, I don't mention him. So, All right. Thanks, Robert. We appreciate the call, buddy. Let's talk to uh, Cliff. You're on 97.1 Free FM. What's up, you two hoes? Yo, hey. what's up? Cliff, what? Jimmy, I wanted to thank you for the compliment you paid me about a week ago. Mm. Uh-huh. Mentioned my name. You said there's only a couple people that you actually like that call in. Me and some guy named Tim. I think Tim or what Tim up, or Clue? Ah. Yeah, Wanted yeah. No, that's that. hey, that's uh, uh, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. I may have, I may have been on pills. You're well, awesome, you man. Been, yeah. But uh, then it's all good. You he know? did mention the plastic to, uh, bag like crazy. Exactly. What's up, Clue? Why don't I come up to the uh, studio there, you guys? Uh, the studio? What? Yeah, a, well, well, it's, it's going to have to be. You know, we're going to be on vacation, Cliff. So it's going to have to. It's going to have to be after that. After that. And you know, the holiday season is here, so that that's a busy time. So you know what I mean. All right. Actually, uh, well, yeah, I was uh, trying to minutes now. Friday, when, huh? when do you want to come in? Any Friday night. You tell me I'm there. All right. Hold on one second, dude. Okay. And um, Haven't we met you, Cliff? No, we haven't. No. Well, uh, Cliff's a good I guy. I have the honor. All right. Hold on one second. Jerry will arrange it. Okay. All right. Hold on one second. All right. Hey, uh, Randy, turn Jerry's mic on. Hey, Cliff. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, how you doing, man? Oh, good. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, well, hey, um, so here's the thing, actually. I, I wanted to ta- tell you this before... You actually got your hopes up too high because um, the guys actually, they're not actually in L.A. Yeah. No, see, yeah, they actually, right now and for the next actually couple months or so, they're actually in in Alaska. It's, I know, it sounds crazy, but yeah, well, we're, we're kind of like renovating the studios here, and that was the cheapest place we could go to. So, yeah, they're going to be in Alaska for like actually the next couple months. Perfect. So it probably... Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll get back to you. Maybe we can set something up later, but, I mean, you know, we'll send you out some stickers or something, too, so don't worry, man. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I am very hot. Trust me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. All right, man. All right, I'll talk to you later, dude. Bye. Jesus Christ. Wow. Did Cliff tell him he was hot at the end of the call? I don't know what happened there. Jesus Christ, man. Oh, no, Cliff asked me if I was hot, and I said, yeah. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Hey, Jerry, you got a pen on you? I do. Uh, I want you to write a uh, phone number down here, dude. Okay. Go uh, ahead. <clears throat> you got a pen? Yeah, right here. Okay. Um, let me see here. Uh, it's area code... Timmy. 323. Okay. I don't know if I can get that number out over the air. Well, what is the what well, is what, place of business? Yeah, is it, yeah, it's a very good question, Jerry. Is it a place of business? Yeah, it's the Groundlings Theater, and they teach uh, improv. And um, probably could go to their website. Right. You could go. Jerry. I'll, f- I'll find going? it online. Groundlings dot com. <laughs> right, you might have to. Oh, here's the number: uh, three two three. <laughs> okay. Nine three four. All right. <laughs> Four seven four seven four seven nine three four four seven four seven three two three. Yeah, yeah. Go to, the Groundlings have a terrific improv school. Yes, very good program. And uh, here's my here's my American Express. <laughs> here's my American Express. Three seven two five <laughs> six eight. <laughs> and expires um, ten yeah, man. eleven. 
I uh, October in 2011. Said it, man. So get over there, Bubba. We'll see you over there, right, Jerry? Yeah, we'll see you at the, the, the ground. The, yeah, I'm, I'm looking it up right now. I think actually. they do weekend shows. Maybe you'll get into one of their shows and you would come and watch you. Yeah, they got to fill. I just fill out the form online. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Good luck. All right, it is the uh, Conway and Whitman show. Totally open phones here, live on 97.1 Free FM. Welcome back, everybody. It is the Conway and Whitman Show. We're live on 97.1 Free FM. Yeah, man. Open phones, man. Totally open phones. You know what that means? Anything you want to talk about? Yeah, man. Anything we talked about, man. Anything you think we should. All right. Barrel. Barrel's all I mess out for the hour. Okay. All right, uh, let's talk to. Um, well, how many chicks calling? Why is it all dudes? Well, there's all Ugh. dudes on the phone. Jose and Van Nuys, another effing guy. How are you? You guys are some studs, man. You're oh, a thanks. stud, man. Look at you, man. Hey, David Conway Whitman. Yes, ma'am. I, I got to tell you, man, you are the best. Thank you. I don't know who you're talking to, though. Uh, Whitman, you are the best. Oh, there you, you go. You, you, make me, you make me laugh all the time. I just want to tell you, you are great. Oh, you're very kind. Thank you, Jose. I just want to know, you guys offering any inter- internships there? I could take you some, maybe some Chinese food. Maybe uh, internships? Are you in school right now? Yes, I am. What school? Uh, Valley College. Oh, oh yeah. And what how, are you, how old are you? Was it? Uh, 19. 19. All right. And uh, what are you studying? I mean, what is uh, the... Uh... Uh, broadcasting. Oh. Wow. Yeah. And you're 19? Yes, sir. Are you a single guy? Yes, I am. No, um, you're not getting any chicks, man? i tell you, man. Uh, more than you, Whitman. Yeah, all right, man. Yeah, there you guys go. <laughs> getting chicks, All right, man. Jerry, 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 please. All right. Hold, hold on. Hold on one second. Wait, turn. Uh, oh, no. no he's going for it. Turn his mic on. Turn Jerry's mic on. Randy. Randy, turn Jerry's mic. Hey. Yeah, hey, what's up, Jose? Hey, dude. Yeah, man. No, I heard you on the air just now. Yeah, well, actually, what I was going to ask you was, um, it's kind of weird for me to ask this all, sometimes, but, yeah, um, I was wondering, if, like, you said you're a single dude, and I was wondering if maybe you wanted to come out to that uh, stuff a truck with me for oh, a while. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, you know, well, we're, you know, we're doing a good thing. We're trying to help the homeless out a little bit, <sighs> and, you know, the foodless. <sighs> and the foodless, um, he says. <sighs> No, yeah. Well, well, actually, I was thinking we can make an evening out of it if you're interested. I mean, I could take, you know, I, we could take, we'll go out Damn. to there and then, you know, we could go to the Grove or something, catch a movie. He's like, always hitting these guys you know, with the Grove. Always wants to bring them to the Oh, yeah, actually, well, I mean, yeah, actually, I, I sometimes, a lot of people actually think that I look like Brad Pitt. Oh, Tim, I can't listen to this anymore. His um, his yeah. looker, his look is the pits. Yeah, I'm 5'9". Oh, Christ. I, I, actually, I bench press oh, all the time. Right. Yeah, so my abs works, are like... My He's gonna talk about his hard. money and his convertible. Um, yeah, actually, no. I drive. I drive a convertible. I drive a silver <sighs> convertible. See? Oh my gosh! And no, actually, yeah. Well, don't worry about the money issue, man. I'll. I'll it's on me. It's on me. Oh, you know, he's gonna be like. Like, it's good to make new friends. He's gonna be like a sugar daddy oh, for yeah. this kid you know, in college. I mean, afterwards we can get a drink or so. He talks know. about how tight his neck know. is and he needs a massage. Oh my god! Yeah, man. Well, actually, you know, I was thinking. I mean, here's the thing. I'll take you out, and, you know, and but you think you can maybe like uh, you know rub the neck a little bit afterwards? Oh my god! My neck's been real tight. Oh my god! How forward? I mean, that is so forward. Oh my! Oh my god! Oh I mean, my! Yeah, my, my neck is, like, it's been killing me lately, and I, need, I just need some good manly hands on that neck, to work it around a little bit. Richard yeah, in Indio, you're on ninety-seven point one. I'm a little pissed off at women right now. Yeah. Uh, no reason to be mad. He was making Leo, uh, the movie freak, lo- lo- lose cred- cred- credibility on over there in Albertsons about uh, Ex- us, the unfooded people. Ex- sir, <laughs> I, excuse me, sir. We are just Brian, you know, that's the right term. At if Albertsons. You there, if you fill out an application and ask you, are you unfooded? Uh, <laughs> I think it's yeah, improper. Right, now, wait a minute. Are you defoodalized? Yes, I am. There you go. So we're helping you out. Fine. Whatever. That's why it's going so slow right now. 
Because okay. Brian David Whitman was, uh, he's, sir, he, 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 uh, he made people lose credibility. Sir, he, whatever he, you he, want to, sir, whatever you want to call yourself, go he's, de- he's defoodalized. Go ahead and call yourself whatever you want to call yourself, but That's I, bl- right, I don't sir, believe the term right. defoodalized is an acceptable right. term. Call yourself whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Uh, F. Eric, you're on 97.1. You had a question for Brian Whitman? Oh. Yes, sir. About your impersonations, do you know in advance if you can pull them off or not, and how much effort do you put into it oh, before no. you actually give up? Uh, well, uh, actually, you know, um, I, I, I don't think That's I, a good question. Yeah. No one's ever asked that before. Do you ever give up on one? Uh, yeah, I mean... Um, Yeah, I don't really sit and, like, do them. You know, I don't, like, sit and uh, I know that some very famous impressionist, like, uh, I think Rich Little, he would get... Have you ever tried to do uh, Howard Stern? No. See, that's... I can't do it. Usually, if I can't do somebody, I can't... Have you tried? No. Not really. But I just... Kind of in my mind, you know... Who can't you do? And, well, well, there's one. I don't do Howard Stern. That's an impression I don't do. But you said you never tried it. I mean, who have you tried to do that you absolutely can't do? Who have I couldn't do... I, I, don't, I don't know, because, you know, I don't really spend time... Can you do Louis Anderson? Oh, you know I can do Louis. No, seriously, see, can you do Louis? <laughs> see, what happened with Louis is I was just was around him, you right. know, uh, frequently. Yeah, maybe that's what you got to do, is send you over to Stern's show So for then I just started doing him, right? I just started mimicking him because I was around him. And uh, the answer to the question is that, you know, sometimes I do it like in... You know, alone, if I want to try something, you know, in the car or something, Tim, you know, by myself, you know, I would do it. Real quickly, here are the results of uh, Jimmy Costello's bets. Yeah, how'd he do? In the fifth race, he liked the two and the eight. The fifth came in first. He lost the the fifth race, lost the sixth race, and lost the eighth race. He got one out of four in the pick four. Congratulations to Jimmy Costello. So is that good or? Excellent. All right. He's the best, man. Yeah, man. One out of four in that pick four. Cleans up. I wonder what he won. I said Let's it. see what he won here. One out of four in the pick four. Uh, oh, it didn't go that deep this time. Oh, so it's not so great. No. Oh. Oh. Stand by, America. Yes, Coming up, it's an all new Gretchen and the Lukes. Yeah. The action turns to fun when the Lukes comes off the road. With something special in mind. All right, gang, it's Conway and Whitman live at 97.1 Free FM. Look out, Gretchen. Here comes the look. All right, you enjoy yourself there, Johnny. All right. All right, take care. Tim? Tim? Are you there? Tim? He hung up on me again. You know, these guys, every single time, they have to make fun of our show. They have to out me for I'm not there. Who's he talking to? Now? I, I don't understand this. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, let me get a uh, prime rib and uh, a couple of lap dances, too. Uh, no, not you, the uh, Asian woman. I only like Asian lap dances. Okay? Is, is this still on? There he goes. Hey, it's John and Jeff here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 